what we think the precipitating factor is, is, is a big stock market sell-off. Then you have word over the weekend about the president maybe looking to get rid of Jerome Powell. Those two things combined led to this call over the weekend, or what do you think? I think that's right. I think they're um, probably the thing you need to layer on it are reports that the president was pressuring the Treasury Secretary to do something. Um, about the sell-off? And, and, and about the sell-off. Um, and probably the broader context here is whatever else the president did not have going for him, he had the economy and he had the stock market. Um, in terms of the legs of the stool that were keeping uh, this administration going here, it was always, I, we've talked about this before, this idea that there were people who were out there that are kind of like, yes, but Trump supporters. They're, yes, we think it's kind of crazy, but the economy is doing well. And now you have this palpable fear in the markets about the economy, which I think is overblown. And the Treasury Secretary said that in his statement. Uh, and I don't mean like it's overblown, like it doesn't exist. I just think it's, it's more extreme than it probably should be. Um, and, and the other aspect is you have the markets were soaring one year, and now they seem to have come down. And you're getting this weird or lack of response in the capital spending numbers that you're not seeing that, that the kind of... Um, uh, juice, I guess, in the idea of, of capital spending that you should get from the tax cut. So that whole thing is a little bit of kind of falling apart on them. And then they come forward and the Treasury Secretary issues this statement on liquidity, which is going back in the record here. I mean, Andrew, you remember, it was yeah. like post Lehman. Mm -hmm. They issued a statement about liquidity. Post, and you pointed it out, were right. you right about 25% plunge was 87? I forgot how much it was yeah, on a percentage. Not a major event. 25 percent yeah. I, I, I had forgotten that. <laughs> and then Greenspan comes forward and he says, the Federal Reserve stands ready to provide liquidity. But here right. we have a liquidity statement without the Crisis. absence of an absence of liquidity. So the question, though, is, is it liquidity around banks? Is it liquidity around the markets, the ETF market, and other things which people have asked questions about. Is this just trying to say, I'm on it, folks. I'm ahead of the game. The trouble is I mean, that, 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 to me, and again, the why call banks? Why not call the market To me, the, the sympathetic providers? reading of this is to say, I'm on it, I'm working on it, I'm doing stuff. I'm not Did saying anybody right question if you were on it, Andrew? I mean, it was a sort of the assumption, and you don't have too many of these sorts of shots to take, right? It's a very special case. Now, look, the administration has broken a lot of the old rules, and sometimes we learn when they do that that the old rules were kind of silly. Um, yeah, and you know, I'd, I'd also go back and say, if you were looking at this, remember when Mnuchin, a year ago, when we were at Davos, said um, he, he wasn't necessarily as supportive of a strong dollar, or, you know, that, that he right. wasn't as concerned about it. Those are the type of things that you do it and you realize, okay, this is why we stick with some of these conventions. Maybe this is one of those situations. Yeah, and, Thinking and, it's going to solve, resolve any sort of jitters out there and then realizing, wait a second, when it comes from the office of the Treasury Secretary, it carries a lot of weight and people start to wonder, what did you know that we didn't? What, exactly, and I think there's two other aspects to this. Aspect number one is... Who is around the Treasury Secretary advising him? Because you would think that those people are kind of, and I've, I said on the last hour or so that, that, that there are markets desks in the Treasury, there are market desks in the Fed. Can I throw one more? Yeah. We're also in the midst of a government shutdown and none of those people are working? They're working. The Treasury folks are working, the people who are advising the Treasury Secretary. Somebody should have said to the Mr. Secretary, the markets right. don't need this statement. You need to hold this in your but pocket. But did his boss need but the statement? But doesn't this go back to the But that's the other thing I wanted to say. Well, go ahead. No, go I was going to say that, you know, Secretary Mattis was forced to do something he didn't agree with, and he resigned. You know, to the extent that Mnuchin may or may not have agreed with issuing this statement, he oh, issued the statement. Do you think statement. this was a President Trump mandated I think, I think this is the secretary... Uh, you know, doing what the president wanted him to do, which the is The only something. thing I'll say with that analogy is uh, there are a lot of times that any of these cabinet members end up doing things that they don't agree with. No, you got to find true. the one that pushes you off the edge. Like, Mattis did a lot of things he probably didn't agree with before he found one that he actually But also, over. wasn't Mnuchin true. trying to, p p let's, again, speculate here, pl uh, please or impress his boss? It may not be the case that Trump said to him, I want you to call the... It could be that Mnuchin, to your point about the president saying to him, do something about this, said, okay, look, I did something. I called some people. I put out a statement. The market hated it. Look, I shouldn't have to do that again. I mean, look, Kelly, it comes down to this issue, which has been out there for a while, which is adults in the room, right? Mattis was thought of as an adult in the room. I think Mnuchin was thought of 
as an adult in the room. The, the other, another way to think about this, which is from a conservative point of view, of the fiscal authority, aka the Treasury, sort of creating this plunge protection team, right? That right. They're, they're standing behind the market. One of the things that people interpreted the recent rate hike as, as the kind of elimination of the Powell put or the Fed put. That being gone, is the Treasury Department coming in and providing that put to the market? Hmm. It gets a little weird in that respect.